Hello, friend. Beechard Moorfield here, and boy, am I glad you joined me today. I want to encourage you with something. Albert Einstein, genius of the 20th century, uh, theory of relativity, E equals MC squared, all that, a marvelous, brilliant mind. That man said this, weakness of attitude becomes weakness of character. Uh, that's a powerful statement. That might seem like a very serious issue, and it is. Again, weakness of attitude becomes weakness of character. I've been observing people for, well, almost 67 years, and as, as I've watched people and learned from people, I have found that the people with the best attitudes were generally the people of highest character. Why? Because they had their mind made up. An attitude has something to do with having your mind made up, being determined that you're not going to allow outside things to come in and control your world, but you from the inside will control, to a certain degree at least, your own destiny. In our world today, there's a, uh, I'm saddened in, in one respect at how people use words with really no understanding of what they mean. For instance, in American society today, we'll hear the word control and the word in charge, that term, used interchangeably. We'll hear people say, well, you know, God's in control. And then someone else will say, well, God's in charge. Well, which is it? And some would say, well, they're both the same. No, they're not. They're not the same. Being in control and being in charge is not the same thing. I'm in control of what I'm doing right here. If, if, if I want to touch my ear, I can touch my ear. I, I'm in control of that. I'm in, I'm in control of whether I sit or stand or whether I speak uh, in, in swelling, great, grandiose terms or whether I speak in simplicity. I control that. But who's in charge? Well, since Jesus is my Lord, he's in charge. And because he's in charge, I, being in control, will not allow myself to say things that are not pleasing to him. I will not allow myself to act in ways and do things that are not pleasing to him. See, I'm in control. He's in charge. You, my friend, are in control of your attitude. You can... You don't need to be governed by circumstances. You govern yourself regardless of the circumstances. This has been seen down through history. Abraham Lincoln was a man who was almost daily during his presidency was confronted with issues of great struggle, emotional anguish. But rather, in, instead of allowing those things to control his attitude, he exercised control through his attitude to remain a man of integrity and a man of character to lead our nation ultimately back to the United States. In some respects, it cost him his life. But he did not allow circumstances to control his attitude, he allowed his attitude through his own control to keep him as in a place of high character so that he could accomplish the work that was set before him. When we are weak of attitude, when, when our attitudes are controlled and dominated by people who say things, by events that occur, when we allow those things to sour our attitude, it affects our character. When we determine that we will not allow our attitude to be soured, but directed by our own heart, by our own integrity, that gains character, that helps to, to formulate character, it helps to demonstrate character. So let me say it to you one more time. Weakness of attitude becomes weakness of of character. I can't people are often the people who want to complain. I can't people, and that's an attitude, are those who want to lay blame on someone else. I can't people are the ones who will talk out of turn, 
who will cast innuendo, who will carry rumor. I can people are the people who turn that around and choose their attitude. And they're the ones who win. They're the ones. I'm not talking about in a game of sport. I'm talking about in life. In life. Great attitude produces great character. Weakness of attitude produces weakness of character. Now that you know that, you can control your attitude today. In fact, I would begin practicing it if you haven't already on a daily basis. Control your attitude. You don't know what you're going to face, but you can choose your attitude now about how you're going to face it. You can choose an attitude of victory. I can overcome. And if I lose today, it's not final. I can rise again and try again tomorrow. See, that's, that's the attitude that produces character. Now, knowing that, I want you to make it a great day.